Welcome back into Rover Sports. How is everybody tonight? Finally have big time, big time breaking news. And for people who love this channel, the San Francisco 49ers, it is very good news. And it's also very interesting news. It's something we did not expect to happen. And this is a very touchy subject. So it's not going to be that jovial. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be making a lot of jokes during this video because the subject line does not require that type of commentary. So Reuben Foster today, his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend came out and said that the whole Reuben Foster punching me 11 times was a hoax. And she said that she tried to end his career, that she texted messages to him, and that the scars were from, or not the scars, the scratches were from either self-induced wounds to herself or from somebody prior to Ruben. Ruben did not touch her, did not do anything. So first off, John Lynch, what a fucking job by John Lynch. <laughs> this is exactly like Friday Night Lights. Coach Taylor sees Riggins uh, tucking in um, his daughter and thinks that they're like going to go like have sex and shit when really um, – Riggins was just taking Julie home because she was drunk. It's the exact same thing. It's jumping to conclusions, jumping the gun. That's what everybody in the media did. When I looked at Reuben Foster, I'm not going to say that I'm the the innocent one or that I knew all along that Reuben was, you know, had a chance uh, to beat this case. But there were a lot of commenters that said, cut bait with Reuben Foster. There were tons of commenters that said, this guy's bad news. Just cut bait. It looks terrible for a franchise. It looks terrible for the culture. Why keep this guy around? This guy's a fill in the blank. This guy is trouble. This guy is, is evil. This guy uh, please, he does not represent me, and and this guy is is horrible, horrific person. He's bad news, and he's just a he's a piece of trash, and he's classless, and a lot of words fired on social media, not only from you know other fan bases that rival the 49ers, but their their whole media department. All John Lynch before the pre draft would John Lynch if you all watched that 45 minute, uh, which I'm sure you did, the 45 minute pre draft press conferences, I'd say 90% of the questions were not about the upcoming draft. They were about Reuben Foster and what are you doing still keeping Reuben Foster on this team and what president is it is it saying for the message of the culture? So the reporters, they wouldn't stop nagging at John Lynch saying, why the inaction, John? Look at this girl. Look at this poor girl, what Reuben did. Why keep this monster here? Well, you know what? John Lynch rose above the fray. He did not cater to peer pressure. He did not cater to this fast-moving social media era where we just jump to conclusions at the first bite of the damn apple, where we believe everything we want to believe and stories that don't match our worldview, we push to the side or we just buy it hook, line, and sinker. And John Lynch said, we're going to relax, we're going to let the process play out, and he wouldn't move off of his stance. It was brave, it was courageous, and he took a ton of shit from media, from fans, everywhere. But John Lynch today, now that the dust has settled, and Reuben Foster and this female appears to be a complete lying psychopath, John Lynch! You're a goddamn fucking rock star, John Lynch. You, are, you should win, honestly. This could qualify maybe for John Lynch. For, for I mean, it's, it's certainly a great deed. It puts him in the GM man of the year category. It should almost be man of the year type stuff right off the bat. And we haven't even gotten to this summer yet. It was an incredible gesture by John to stick by Reuben Foster, to let the story play out, and to not play sucker 
to social media and peer pressure, which 90% of people would probably do, much weaker people would do. They would look at Reuben Foster. They'd look at how he handled the doctor at the combine, why teams passed on him. They'd say he has a lack of maturity, and they would just say, you know what, it's easier if we just cut bait and get rid of this headache right now, and and I want to stop answering these damn questions from these media people that won't stop nipping this, that won't just shut up about it and let the court case play out. He stood firm and maybe lost some sleep over it. It was courageous. It was a great effort by John Lynch. John Lynch should be the main storyline today. And here's the thing. For people that shit on John Lynch, for people that said the 49ers, like, what the fuck were they doing keeping Reuben Foster? You know what happens to those people on social media? Nothing. Zero. They're powerless people, and they just throw out opinions, but you know what happens to them? Actually, some of them might be in power. They might be writing for the Mercury News or San Jose Chronicle, whatever. You know what happens to those people that just throw allegations? Reuben Foster should be caught. John Lynch is, is setting a terrible example. John Lynch is, you know, is a hypocritical bastard for the culture stuff. Nothing happens to them. No repercussions at all. You know what happens to the girl who lied? Nothing. But you know what people are going to say? And, and I'm, I'm jumping points here. You know what people are going to say? The, the, the people that hate Reuben Foster, they are going to say this girl was scared and got paid off by Reuben Foster. So you know what? The people that hate Reuben Foster, guess what, Reuben? And guess what, 49er fans? And guess what, people that uh, that, that want to come and, and, and try to give Reuben a fair shot? Most people made up their minds. If they hated Reuben Foster, want him cut, they, they're going to say that he's just classless, that he's evil, he's a monster, and this is all a big hoax and a lie, and he paid her off. There you go. There's five comments in the comments section, at least, on that story. The people that hate you, Reuben, they always are going to hate you. Zeke Elliott, same exact thing. Um, Josh Brown, there's so many cases, and he'll just get lumped in with Josh Brown. Reuben Foster get lumped in with uh, with Greg Hardy, and you know, because the girl pretty much like, unfortunately, what companies, you know, from a PR perspective, want to hire Reuben Foster right now? Because a lot of people still are going to have this belief out there. And listen, could it theoretically be possible that Reuben did the evil deed? Could it be possible? Yes. But the bottom line is people are always going to make up their mind. And the way I'm kind of looking at this case, I look at Ruben completely different. And I look at the f and I try to look at what comes out. And the people that don't like Ruben are never going to like him. And they're going to say that this is a bunch of lies. And, the, and, and he paid the woman to shut up. All right. So, so there you go. You, if people in life are going to be jealous of you. People in life that have problems with you are always going to hate you. Okay. There's some people that just are always going to be haters in your life. You need to take those people out of your life. Here's another point I was going to say. For Reuben Foster right now, let's quiet this down, Reuben. Let's have a quiet damn year. Let's have a quiet two years if lucky. Three. Relax. Stay out of the headlines. Go to football. Surround yourself with good people. Tighten that damn circle up. Why did you date this crazy fill in the blank? That's what I want to know. And you got to stay away from crazy fill in the blanks. Be mature and actually be selfish. Actually, the message here, the Reuben Foster, be selfish. Worry about yourself and your needs right now. You don't have to let everybody have a piece of the pie. Surround yourself with good folks. And also, when this case happens, domestic violence in the NFL... You know, people just want to lump Ruben in with the rest of the people like Greg Hardy, Ray Rice, um, you know, with, with guys like Josh Brown. Um, there's some Ezekiel Elliott. There's there's a lot of cases and they just want to lump um, Greg uh, or uh, Ruben Foster in with these guys and, 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 and just like fulfill the stereotype of the NFL uh, of the NFL guys being monsters and CTE and and everything. But each case is individual. Look at each case is individual. OK, don't have a worldview. Don't have a stereotype about NFL players. Look at this thing. OK on an individual case basis, and you will be okay. Don't let pre-described notions guide your thinking, and that's what I'm trying to learn every day as well. So Reuben Foster now clear to play. Um, from a football perspective, I mean, it's obviously a good thing. I I I'm really ecstatic for Reuben if, if this is all was a setup, which, which is looking like it was. It it's horrible, too, that somebody tried to ruin his damn life. 
and uh, and for Ruben to the, the let that happen, uh, it, it's it's just a damn shame all around. And I'm just excited to get back to football, uh, get back to talking Niners ball, get back to watching linebackers hitting people, uh, get back to quarterbacks and everything. Uh, but today is huge news for the Niners. And but John Lynch should be commended. There's a lot of good that comes out of this, and John Lynch is at the is at the forefront of that. So Niner up, Niner Empire. What's up, Niners? Rover Niner here. How's it going, guys? Again, really good day for the Niners, and uh, John Lynch is a goddamn hero. He's a freaking rock star.